Блин, сука. Быстрее, быстрее, быстрее! Быстрее, блядь! Укрытие шукаем. Бегом, 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 бегом! Хотел! Ukrainian fighters continue to destroy Russian troops in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Marines showed new footage of successful hits on enemy targets. Kursk region. Russian generals send their elite soldiers to slaughter. We constantly do our hard work, reads the caption to the published video. The video was released by the 36th separate Marine Brigade named after Rear Admiral Mikhail Bilinsky. The video, in particular, shows the destruction of Russian military equipment and infantry. Recall Russia is also deploying FSB special forces against Ukrainian defense forces in Kursk Oblast. Reports indicate that special units of the FSB are engaged in combat in Kursk Oblast, suffering casualties. The death of any member from these elite units significantly impacts the FSB, which previously faced its largest losses during the Beslan tragedy in 2004, when 10 special forces operatives were killed. An FSB source noted that the primary mission of these units is to detect and neutralize enemy reconnaissance and sabotage groups. With a state of emergency declared in Oblast, authorities have turned to the special services, indicating a decision by the FSB to deploy elite fighters against perceived Ukrainian saboteurs. However, the source cautioned that in a conventional conflict involving heavy weaponry, these special forces have limited chances against a regular army. Another source close to the FSB stated that the fight against Ukrainian saboteurs does not align with the FSB's Central Security Services operations, suggesting that the current counter-terrorism framework is unsuitable for the situation in Kursk. Recall on August the 6th, Ukrainian forces made a lightning push into the region, seizing villages, taking hundreds of prisoners and forcing the evacuation of tens of thousands of civilians. Russia was caught unprepared by the offensive and reportedly is drafting conscripts to repel some of Ukraine's most battle-hardened units. Russian state media fell into line, showing evacuees queuing for aid or donating blood, as if the events in Kursk were a humanitarian disaster and not the largest attack on Russia since World War II. Israeli airstrikes on Friday hit more buildings in the southern suburbs of Lebanon's capital Beirut, setting off explosions in the area known as Dahia. In the second wave of strikes, two buildings in the Herat Reich and Hadith areas were struck, following Israeli warnings. In a warning notice on X, a spokesman for the Israeli military said that the airstrikes were targeting Hezbollah facilities and interests, without providing further details. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Such Israeli airstrikes have leveled hundreds of buildings and homes over the past eight weeks destroying thousands of housing units. The World Bank estimated that Lebanon has been hit by $8.5 billion in physical damages and economic losses from 13 months of Israel-Hezbollah war. 
Damages to physical infrastructure alone were valued at $3.4 billion, while economic losses totaled $5.1 billion, the World Bank said in a statement Thursday. Israel has also been striking deeper inside Lebanon since September as it escalates the war against Hezbollah. The U.S. has been trying to broker an end to the fighting between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the 13-month Israel-Hamas war broadened in September into southern and eastern Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs. Israel forces invaded South Lebanon on October 1, causing widespread destruction in border villages but making little advances on the ground inside the country. Israeli forces and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when Hezbollah began launching rockets across the border in support of its ally, Hamas, in Gaza. The conflict escalated beginning in mid-September. Israel has launched a widespread aerial bombardment of Lebanon and a ground invasion that it said is intended to push Hezbollah back from the border.